What's up, YouTube? I see Duper here, and today uh, this is my video about the second part for my MSS32 DLL error. That because um, the first video I made a while back, which has a lot of views, which I did not even know it reached over 100,000. Uh, I helped some people, but it wasn't very, very clear at the time and how to fix the issue. And there was a lot of confusion in the comments because people didn't know. They thought it was a 100% way of fixing it. But in this video, I'm gonna go through more steps and maybe hopefully. It will make your chances of the problem being fixed higher. And uh, first off, I want to start off by saying that this problem, the MSS32 DLL problem, can be can be from various reasons why you get this uh, error. It can be from like registry errors to maybe like you delete a system important DLL file by accident and a virus maybe and all that stuff. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you like the steps on how to make your chances higher. Like I said, to fix the error. So it's not always 100% sure, but this make this might make your the problem fixed. So the first thing you want to do is click on the link in the description for a CC Cleaner, which is a free cleaning tool. It can clean your computer, uh, fix registry errors, which I'm going to be showing you, and uh, web browser stuff. It just cleans all that. So when you do that, just click download. Uh, there's two versions. There's a free and all that stuff where you can get this, but it's free either way. So you can do that and just click download latest version. It will download it and install it. And once all that is done, you can launch up CC Cleaner and it will look like this when you launch it up there's these sections right here this is for cleaning internet explorer which i don't even know why they have that section i guess for people who don't have other browsers there's windows explorer and system so what you want to do is click analyze which is going to analyze through all the checked areas that you have right here and advanced you can do that too i guess but the only reason why they don't do that because you might need might need some of this stuff like window event logs in the, fu in the in the future in case you get any errors but if you want, what the heck, just do it, I guess. But um, once it's done analyzing, it will show all your errors for all the checked areas. And then you click Run Cleaner. And when that's done, uh, that's going to take a while. And when that's done, go to Registry. And then click Scan for Issues. I recommend checking all of that because you're trying to fix your registry as much as possible. So when you check all that, this should be fairly quick. And I don't even know how to all these issues. But you click Fix Selected Issues. And I recommend clicking yes, and because you don't know if there ever will be an error in your registry while cleaning it, <clears throat> and this will save a backup. So whenever you get that error, you can go back in time, that will restore your computer to an earlier point, and it will and it will act like the problem was never there. So when you scan it and hit fix select issues, I recommend clicking yes, and it'll continue the process on cleaning your registry. I'll do that another time because that might take a while during this video but once you get it cleaned out your cleaner and registry <coughs> excuse me once you do all that um, you can try doing this which is the supported visual C++ and you might be wondering why you might need this but some games believe me I don't even know why I fixed some of my issues back in the past I don't know which one exactly and that's the reason I'm gonna leave you with this link and um, and Microsoft made a post right here telling you which one's the most important because there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of these uh, these uh, Visual C++ different years. What you can try is going by year by year. Which one do you want? So I think you can go for this one and then maybe go for this one like 2005 and then 2008 and then you can go to 2010 and then skip that one I guess and then you go to 2012. Once you do all that, try to install all of that and if it needs to restart, restart. And then the second thing I can tell you, I mean the third thing uh, I'll show you is this. I per I'm pretty sure you might remember this if you saw my first video, the DirectX Runtime Web Installer. You can download this, and then once you download it, just install it. It's the same thing as any other download. When once you install it, it might ask for, what do you call it, Re restart, and just go ahead and do that. And once you do all that, and you cleaned, you did registry fixes, you did... um. Visual C++ updates, DirectX updates, and you still have like no fix. Which I, the last thing I can leave you off with is uh, this thing. What you want to do is click Start, and then type in CMD, and then right click on it and click Run as Administrator. Because you must click Run as Administrator, or else it might not work. And what I'm going to do is call System File File Integrity Check, which checks all your important system files on your Windows and replaces them with good Windows good and uh, original Microsoft files so you might be missing the MSS32 DLL file itself and this might help you fix it so when you open up command prompt as administrator don't forget administrator type in SFC space 
slash scan and then now like that and then this will begin the system scan and when it and it's going to do verification it's going to have like a percentage right here and it's going to just try to verify and then download the files uh, this might take a while so I'm not going to show you all the way but once you do that SFC scan now just go ahead and try that and once any if anything downloads or not just restart your computer if it's needed or anything like that that might fix your problem and uh, one more thing I can probably show you is this might not be the best way but oh well this might actually help you is by going to the start control panel and yours may look like this or probably like this but either way just go to system and security and then go to check for updates and once you do that just click check for updates and it'll do windows updates that might help fix your problem also and uh, so yeah this is a much more clear video a more thorough video I, I guess so on how to fix Shamus 32 DLL error. Like I said earlier in the beginning of the video, this is, there's no 100% way exactly. I haven't seen it yet. I never read it on a forum or seen any post about it because it's really hard to fix this issue. You can always restore to a later, later point when you never had the error. You can recover to 100% clean install Windows, which might be your last resort. I don't know if you're that desperate to open up the application or game or something. But yeah, so these are like the necessary steps on how to do it, like through cleaning it, registry fixes, um, updates, and uh, all that stuff, and scanning it. But yeah, if this helped your video, it helped you a lot, please leave a like down below and subscribe. And if you got any questions or comments, please comment down below. Thank you for watching, guys, and bye.